Wing walking is the process of climbing out of the plane while it's flying. I started wing walking when we bought our red plane, bought it from a friend of ours, and it had been used a little bit in the film industry. So when we bought it, it came with banner letters and camera mounts and a wing walking rag. Our neighbor used to be a professional wing walker, so he, he trained me to wing walk. And then we just started kind of training some friends and then their friends wanted to learn and it's just kind of been growing over the years. Welcome back to episode three of Die Trying, presented by Georgia Boots. We've done buses, we've done bowls, now we're doing biplanes. We're here in beautiful Squim, Washington at the Mason Wing Walking Academy, and it's time to take to the skies. All right, I'm here with Marilyn Mason, who's gonna be teaching me how to wing walk. Can you just, before we get started, how did this even start? How did it come about? What is wing walking? I've just seen clips, it looks nuts, but I don't know nothing else about it. Oh, I think since the time people made planes slow enough to walk on, people have been uh, getting out there wing walking, uh, you know, sometimes to fix things and sometimes just for fun. When we climb out at, uh, you know, 50, 60 miles an hour, it does take a lot of deliberate, forceful movement to kind of get your arm or leg to go in the place you want it to go. Um, it's, you know, we practice it on the ground as many times as we can, but it's just a little different once you're up in the air. You look back, he says, time to climb up. Then hands are gonna go up towards those handles and you're gonna start standing in the seat. And then you're gonna stand up and that right foot's going just in front of the windshield. And then left hand is coming up to the wire, nice high grip. Now the right arm can move through. Once that left foot is up, right arm can go up and over. And this is where we're gonna do that big twist. Good. And yep, start reaching back, straightening up, getting some nice grips, bringing that left foot up into the foothold. Get to work with your buckle. All while those 50 mile per hour winds are blowing on you. And you're gonna pull forward with a little up and down motion. That'll get you good and snug. All right, well, he's run through a couple times. Um, he seems to be getting it down pretty well, but the main thing now is just some repetitions. We want to build that muscle memory so he can just do things without having to think about it too much. Once he's got that down, then we'll start working on the lower wing. All right, time to call my mom. Uh, she hates these, but you got to do it. I feel like she's not going to mind at this episode. Like after the bull riding, I feel like I can get away with this. I've also been skydiving for a little bit, so she might not be shocked, but we'll see. She might just stop answering my calls from now on. Hello, is this Lisa? I'm calling you to, um, I'm wing, wing walking for this episode. What the heck is wing walking? A biplane, like a smaller plane where you and the pilot are exposed and then you climb out okay. when, when you're at okay. altitude at like 3,000 okay. feet. And then okay. you get onto the top of the plane, like the very top of the wing, and it does uh, okay. starts doing flips. Okay, so you're holding what? Yeah. You're gonna have a parachute on you. No. Come on, stop it. No, no parachute. You have a little cable, so if you fall, you just dangle, but like under the plane. Oh, well, that hell, that makes you feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyways, it sounds like a hell of a good time. So enjoy yourself up there. I will, Bob. All right, thanks. <laughs> I'll call you when I'm done. All right, bye. Love, All right, you. love you. Love too. you. Love, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love, 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 love. love you, mom. All right, bye-bye. Bye. That was that not bad. She took that one well. She was like joking around, whereas like bull riding, she was fucking pissed. This one, she was, eh, she's fine with it. Whatever. She's getting used to it now. She's building up a tolerance. This is uh, let's go wing walk. Let's go have some fun. have on occasion though had some people get up there and just kind of you know just kind of given into that panic feel and just kind of forgetting what they're supposed to do or maybe freezing up a little bit 
Uh, for some people, it's just an initial freeze up and they have to kind of just run through the steps in their mind again. Um, you know, we're hitting some really intense speeds and G-forces during that time. Uh, so it is just an incredible rush for people. When you first climb out and that wind, that blast of wind just first hits you, I usually tell people that's, that's the question your life choices moment right about there. The loop, you're diving for speed and you'll come back up and around. The roll is a bit gentler, it's kind of that barrel roll, corkscrew kind of motion. And then the hammerhead, you're flying straight up, a little turn at the top, diving straight back down for a moment and then pulling away. There's power lines over there. Aside from that, what an amazing day, what an awesome experience. Wing walking, then jumping off, can't really beat that. That's gonna do it for this episode of Die Trying. See you guys on the next one. Get in the back. <laughs>